partial thromboplast in time, Wikipedia article audio. The partial thromboplast in time or activated partial thromboplast in time is a medical test that characterizes blood coagulation, also known as clotting. A historical name for this measure is the kaolin-cephalin clotting time, reflecting kaolin and cephalin as materials historically used in the test. Apart from detecting abnormalities in blood clotting, partial thromboplastin time is also used to monitor the treatment effects with heparin, a widely prescribed drug that reduces blood's tendency to clot. Methodology Interpretation History Partial thromboplastin time measures the overall speed at which blood clots by means of two consecutive series of biochemical reactions known as the intrinsic and common coagulation pathways. The partial thromboplastin time is used in conjunction with another measure of how quickly blood clotting takes place called the prothrombin time. The prothrombin time measures the speed of clotting by means of the extrinsic pathway. Partial thromboplastin time is typically analyzed by a medical technologist or a laboratory technician on an automated instrument at 37 degrees Celsius. The test is termed partial due to the absence of tissue factor from the reaction mixture. The typical reference range is between 30 seconds and 50 s. Shortening of the PTT is considered to have little clinical relevance, but some research indicates that it might increase risk of thromboembolism. Normal PTT times require the presence of the following coagulation factors, I, 2, V, 8, 9, X, 11 and 12. Notably, deficiencies in factors 7 or 13 will not be detected with the PTT test. Prolonged APTT may indicate. To distinguish the above causes, mixing tests are performed, in which the patient's plasma is mixed with normal plasma. If the abnormality does not disappear, the sample is said to contain an inhibitor while if it does disappear a factor deficiency is more likely. Deficiencies of factors 8, 9, 11, and 12 and rarely von Willebrand factor may lead to a prolonged APTT correcting on mixing studies. The APTT was first described in 1953 by researchers at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill explaining the Carolina blue vacutainer tube top color. Blood is drawn into a test tube containing oxalate or citrate, molecules which act as an anticoagulant by binding the calcium in a sample. The blood is mixed, then centrifuged to separate blood cells from plasma. A sample of the plasma is extracted from the test tube and placed into a measuring test tube. Next, an excess of calcium is mixed into the plasma sample. Finally, in order to activate the intrinsic pathway of coagulation, an activator is added, and the time the sample takes to clot is measured optically. Some laboratories use a mechanical measurement, which eliminates interferences from lipemic and ecteric samples. Use of heparin, antiphospholipid antibody, coagulation factor deficiency, sepsis coagulation factor consumption, presence of antibodies against coagulation factors.